Alrighty fellas, so I made some time today to do an install for those who's gonna uh, go ahead with those drive shaft shields from me. So a lot of us know that the uh, front drive shaft could be an issue. It's an 8866 um, front drive shaft on both A15s, uh, E70, as well as F85, F86, BMW, front drive shaft. So a lot of time the U-joint by the uh, transfer case would break and it will just literally destroy the transmission, destroy the transfer case, and sometimes the front new joint will break and it will destroy the um, oil pan and it can cause uh, oil starvation. So <clears throat> I kind of came up, I believe I came up with a solution. Um, what we got here is the, you know, the shield. Um, this is the kit. It's actually a sixth revision. I have one more revision coming for those with the inline six cylinders, which is diesel guys and the um, diesel guys and the inline six uh, 30, uh, 30 eyes, I think, X5, X6s. So this is the drive shaft shield. This is what you're gonna get in the uh, kit. Like I said, this is uh, not the last revision. I got one more coming in, but that's pretty much it. Everything is super simple. Everything is super thick. Everything is super, um, should be, should keep the drive shaft if it breaks uh, in position and prevent it from uh, damaging and destroying things. So let me get back, let me get under the so car. So once under the car, this is pretty much what you're gonna be looking at if you are working with the F85, X5M, X6M, uh, diesel, and uh, I guess 50Is and such, and uh, 30Is, they are a little different. They have some shielding here. I might make a separate video, I might not. It just might be just added additional pictures to what we got here. So this is the drive shaft, and I actually have an extended spline version here which I have coming maybe in a few weeks uh, as an option. Uh, I will explain that later in the drive shaft video, but... Okay, so part of the drive shaft being scuffed up because I messed it up many times already in and out uh, working with the, with the shield. Okay, so long story short, this is what you're gonna be looking at. So as you see, there's nowhere really to connect your uh, drive, shaft, drive shaft shields to, but we were able to uh, fix that issue. Okay, so long story short, we're gonna use uh, this hole here, which is factory hole. We'll use this factory hole in the brace. It's also a metal brace. And the only thing we gotta do is actually drill the uh, engine splash drill here, which should be fairly easy. Uh, and I will show you as we go what we're gonna do, but that's pretty much what we're gonna look at. And first thing we're gonna do is take this eight millimeter out and uh, take the whole uh, splash shield. I mean, I think it's it's probably some kind of heat shield. Just take it off. It's gonna be three eight millimeters there. I'll get, I'll get be right back. So here is the, uh, the heat shield piece. And what we gotta do is very easy and simple. We just gotta slide this uh, metal thing off. I'll use a tool. Okay, that's it. My finger gonna be the tool. Okay, here it comes off. That's all you need to do, very easy. And now we're gonna reinstall it. We are back under the car. We're gonna tighten this. So this hole is empty, there's nothing there. And we're gonna tighten this. 516, And to make your life easier down the road, I recommend taking this, uh, all four eights out on this um, engine bottom cover. This will add some clearance to this uh, metal splash shield. Okay, so this is where we're at for now. And I'll okay. be right. So, I already done that, but what you need to do on diesels and uh, other cars, that would be some kind of, maybe a metal clip or whichever, you know, um, that slides through here. You obviously will slide it out. F85 don't, don't have that. It just have a whole factory hole. Then you use 516 drill bit and drill all the way. From factory, it is already a uh, straight through hole. You just have to, you know, obviously uh, enlarge it just a little bit. Go to the 516th drill bit. So once you're done with that, you're pretty much ready to throw in the the, uh, the shield. Okay, so pretty much we're ready for the install. So I'm gonna be installing my personal, uh, the one I initially done. It's a revision four uh, draft shaft shield. So 
already got everything ready for it. We pretty much slide it right there. In between the, uh, sort of work with one hand. Okay, so this hole here is going to line up to factory hole. This hole here is going to line up as well. It will be a square hole and a straight through hole to the uh, heat shield. So once they all align, the drive shaft itself will be in the middle of the shield. That will be your bottom piece. So now go ahead and install the one and a quarter uh, bolts. So it's gonna be a bolt washer, then the shield, and then the washer and a, and a lock nut. And the same way here will be a bolt washer. Then it's gonna go all the way through. And then it's gonna be a washer and a, and a lock nut. So we do that and I'll be right back with you. Okay, I got this bolt in place. I got this bolt tight in place with a lock nut and such. Everything is lines up perfectly. Uh, I found also it's a good idea to actually keep this eight or five sixteenth, whichever, uh, kind of loosened. It will be much easier to line up this this um, this hole for that bolt. So everything is already, you know, it's getting there, We're getting pretty sturdy. So now comes the best part. <clears throat> uh, we have to drill two holes. So mine's already obviously drilled, but you have to kind of eyeball where the, the shield goes in and start with a pilot hole. If you want to, you can actually uh, purchase like a, a mechanical punch and it will be much easier to uh, to drill these holes. But long story short, you have to drill right there where that, that kind of bulge you know, uh, casting goes in in a, in a, in this uh, engine shield, and you start with a you know a punch hole, then a pilot hole, and then you go with the uh, five sixteenth drill bit. Uh, you dr drill all the way through the engine shield as well as your drive shaft shield. Um, mine is already done. This is, I would say, this probably is the hardest part of the whole install. So once it's done, we're gonna loosen this bolt the bolt by the transfer case and we're gonna take the splash shield off and keep in mind those eights in the front already removed so so flappy flappy should be very easy to do I'm gonna pull the uh, the main shield off now right, so this is what you're gonna end up with is your shield has been drilled uh, two holes drilled right here so they're gonna line up about like that now I'll show you what we're gonna do this is what you're gonna need uh, those two final bolts with it. So if you pay attention, the, the washer on the bolt is kind of curved and this curve will go over the um, that, that section on the outside. Flip it over and show it to you. So the curved washer, if you see, I'm doing the whole install pretty much with one hand and we actually moving pretty fast as well. So this curve, I'm trying to catch it right here. It's gonna go over this and it's actually gonna bite into it and help the bolt stay in place. So even with a temperature change, vibration and such, it should not come off. But you know, every oil change, I just recommend eyeballing it, make sure everything is still there and just feel if it's still tight. But long story short, oh yeah, by the way, these bolts were 16 millimeter. <clears throat> um, they're supposed to be one time use, but I use them often and there's no issue with those. You can use a uh, blue Loctite on this as well for reinstall. Okay, so long story short, is I'm gonna flip this up upside down and I'm just doing it because I'm trying to show you the setup. It's fairly you know fairly uh fairly easy to do. So you just throw this bolt washer curved side of the washer down put this through same way with the other um Okay, I missed my other hand. Okay, same way, curve washer up. Throw this over. And now we're gonna install this over this and 
put a uh, lock nut on the back. I'll be right back, let me get this done. So this is what we got here, part of the dirt and stuff. I'm, I'm on the run today, I don't have time to clean up, but I'm gonna be back for the uh, last revision confirmation design. So I'm gonna clean everything up. But long story short, this is it. Let's get it tight, you know, good and tight. Don't go crazy with this. Just get them tight, tight. And uh, this is probably the first time I'm gonna need both hands, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna install the whole assembly together and pretty much bolt up right there, bolt up right there. And then we're just gonna start with the, uh, you know, we're gonna get those 16 millimeter finger tight, the stiffening plate bolts. And then we're gonna just make sure everything starts, everything goes through their holes. And uh, we're pretty much ready for install. So I almost forgot. So right before we are ready to install the stiffening plate with this drive shaft shield in place, we gotta throw this um, top piece in. It's fairly easy to do. Just gotta So it's gonna be uh, just sitting there pretty much, put against this stub right here, but um, different models have different uh, transmission layout, but we're gonna get it there for now. And now we are ready to install the uh, splash shield all together. Okay, so ideally, this this is uh, where you need to be is, everything is just finger tight, everything is just started, so everything is loose. The only tight bolts would be those they completely tighten. So everything is in their holes, as well as this one is also just finger tight. So at this point, we can go ahead and install, uh, install those bolts for the top cover. I forgot to get them. Uh, they lay somewhere here. But I'll go get them and I'll make a separate video, but you pretty much almost like this close to being done okay so uh a small correction i found it easier to install those side bolts uh if we take this bolt off just for now and uh your kids the new kids gonna come with the 516 bolts is this was the initial i think third revision with the m10s so you pretty much just throw it in there and it goes right in same way with this front just throw it in there you should have no no issue, like zero issue, installing the 516th. And I have the 516th here somewhere. Okay, this is the 516th. It's a grade, I think grade eight bolts. And it's gonna be super easy to install in the hole. Very easy. But again, it makes things easier if you loosen this bolt and you got little slack, you know, move left, right, whichever. We need to go so i'm gonna install all the side you know side top cover bolts i'm gonna button up everything which will include tightening those eight millimeters tightening eight millimeters eight millimeters in the front as well as all the 16s that go into the stiffening plate i'm gonna tighten this it's i think uh size six allen and 13 millimeter uh lock nut and same way here it would be six uh six size six allen and a lock nut, 13 millimeter nut, lock nut in the back. And I think you should be good to go at this point. I will be back with you for the final look. So, here's the drive shaft shield installed. I got my little flashlight here. I actually see, clears, clears everything really, really well. We are over the transmission bump by a few millimeters everything is tight and the uh, stiffening plate is also tight and i'm in no way a mechanic this is just for entertainment purposes only but i do believe that this shield they got a lot of blood sweat and tears and several revisions will should save a lot of trainees a lot of transfer cases as well as definitely a lot of oil pans and thousands and thousands of dollars in damage it ain't going. 
So it's on there, good and tight. And I do believe we're onto something here. And again, I cannot promise or guarantee this will work, but I do strongly believe it will. And it, it's, it's something to have, it's stock looking, it's totally reversible. So you don't have to, you know, worry about anything. And hopefully it will save, save you thousands of dollars. You can contact me uh, by my email in the description. And you are pretty much set to go. And like I said one more time, we are waiting on a revision, final revision. The only change would be this hole would be slotted. That's for the inline sixes, which is inline six uh, gas and inline six diesel. I'm gonna change the hole here just a little bit. So it's gonna work for both for F85, 50Is, as well as the uh, 35Ds and 30Is. Um, and what else we're gonna change? And we're gonna change the hole here because the transmission on the diesel, uh, it's kind of pushed back because the engine is longer. It's an inline six versus the uh, uh, V4, uh, V8. So that's the only thing I'm waiting on. Hopefully we'll have it ready this uh, this coming week. Otherwise, guys, here it is, you got it. And I think we are in a very good shape on this. Thank you for watching.